Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with One Piece. We got episode 1076. And this is the last Gear 5 episode. Uh, hey, man. What a time to be an anime fan. But... What a time to be a One Piece fan, bro. It's kicking in. It's kicking in already. Like, as he just said, it's the last Gear 5 episode, which means by default is pretty much the last episode, too, with the Luffy versus Kaido. Ah, that's really starting to kick in, bro. You know, One Piece, as One Piece stands, we've really been fucking eating. Like, all year, too, but... It's really different right now. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. After this episode, we have to rate this finisher among Luffy finishers. Yeah, yeah. Shit, bro. Hey, bro, let's rock. I'm ready, bro. Kaido-san. Kaido-san. <laughs> あんたは武力の決心だ。俺はこの手で全てを奪い取り。四皇に登り詰めた。At age ten, he's already the strongest. この世にはいねえ。ちゃあ、look at why does everyone bow down? You got drafted? That's crazy. Nigga got drafted. <laughs> Is this Kaido before the rock fire? Wow. So all the time he escaped. Okay. All them times he got caught, he was just hungry and shit. Wait, was that the Rock Pirates? Cause we just saw White Beard. Yeah, I don't know if that was the Rock Pirates or if that was just White Beard himself. Timeline-wise, that could be the rocks. There it is. These niggas formed the Golden State Warriors. Like the niggas dying, like, bro, like, like I, I, my nigga, like, dog. <laughs> bro, this nigga is still going. 
G B. Chill. Save everyone. Hey, shout out to Zhao. Shout out to Zhao. That's one way to gather everyone up, though. Hell yeah. You essentially just threw everyone to the spot. Fighting the shit out that nigga. God. Come on. Oh. 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 Oh, the soundtrack going crazy with this shit. Oh my god, nah. Nah, bro, like. Oh. 
キング、俺はジョイボーイが誰だか分かった。誰ですこの先、俺を倒した男だ。ああ<笑>Tears on my eyes, bro. Like, I, I could dead ass cry right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I wow. dead ass teared up, bro. Like, that shit was wow. so beautiful, bro. Like, the feeling I got right now, like, my nigga. heart was jumping during that shit, bro. Like, wait, no, I don't even know how long this shit has been airing, truth be told, but. We're officially here. GG's. Down goes Kaido. Down goes the Yonko. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. You know, before this, my favorite finisher was when Luffy finished off Rob Lucci. With that, that super fast Gatlin, and it showed all the fists connecting at the same time and shit. And he sent mm -hmm. him flying through the wall, and he screamed. Rory. Nah, no, I agree. This... Absolutely shit on that, in my opinion. And it's crazy, too, because, like, niggas said it before. The Rob Lucci finisher is, or at least was, the best finisher in One Piece. We did say that shit before. It's tough, because when you look at this shit, especially start to finish considering everything. Oh, man. I mean, I really don't know where to begin, like, first things first, Kaido's backstory, too. I loved it, too. I loved how they showed it. The Rock Spires, too, let alone Blackbeard's. We now see Blackbeard's posted up where the Rock Spires used to be posted yep. up, too. Like, all that shit is gas. All that shit is gas. As well as now knowing, because it makes sense, but... We heard the resume for why Kaido's been caught before. We didn't know it was because a nigga was hungry. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, because if he's supposed to be the strongest creature, never lose a one-on-one, -on -one, how'd he get caught so many times? Yeah. Now like, it makes sense. That nigga was hungry than a motherfucker. Makes, like, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he was like, getting caught on purpose just to eat and then destroy the ship and dip. I'm not going to lie, too. I want to see more of the God Valley incident, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That shit is really tough, let alone seeing it was Whitebeard who recruited him, not Big Mom. Mm -hmm. But then we get to vice versa, just flashback to the greatest fight in One Piece so far. Yeah, like, I ain't going to hold you. One of Luffy's best moments is when he smacked the Celestial Dragon back to the manga. He just smacked the Yonko back to the manga. Bro, that shit was beautifully done, too. Start to finish. Like, and Luffy talking about some. I want to create a war. Like, oh, like, god damn. Like, and then to add on to that finisher, what Kaido said at the end, when they went back to it, when he was saying, King, I know who Joy Boy is. And he was like, he's the man who will defeat me. Like, that shit was so hard. You're going to see it. I jumped out my seat. Like, yeah. I ain't going to hold you. Hell, before we even keep talking about that, let's talk about the Momonosuke scene when he finally got right with the clouds. Shit, like, I ain't going to lie. I'm happy for the little, good job, little nigga. Like, I'm happy for him, too. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I said it, I'm pretty sure I said it in the last One Piece episode we watched. I'm not really a big fan of Momonosuke, I think he's kind of annoying, but... That, that shit was hard, nigga. <laughs> that shit that was, shit was They hard. put they all in that animation, nigga, the voice actor murdered that shit with the scream. Like... I ain't gonna hold you. 
I was wondering because, you know, half the episode was literally just Kaido's backstory. So I was wondering how much are we really going to get, like, action-wise about what's currently happening. But they did not disappoint whatsoever with what we got, like, at all. Yeah. Like, and, you know, as you said, too, flowers to Momo Nosuke, too. Definitely. He definitely did his part, too, with pulling that shit away. And I'm not going to lie. My heart, just a tiny bit, was a little bit dropped when Onigashima dropped. But I would say one of the biggest questions I have going forward now is what's next for the Beast Pirates, let alone the Big Mom Pirates? Because both of their Yonkos or their captains officially fell. And especially with the Beast Pirates, their entire fucking crew just fell. So it's like, Wayno's officially liberated. But what's next? It was a really big question. Yeah, you know... I was thinking about it like is a good thing that Katakuri didn't pull up because the big mom pirates can still be a thing. But the big the beast pirates, I don't know what the fuck they going to do. Like, yeah. I think they're done for. Especially cuz yeah. a lot of their people just straight up died in this fight. Died or got like absolutely thrashed. Like that's like a reset button like shit, especially let alone their captain's literally falling into the abyss. Yeah. So it's like... Because, you know, there's that whole thing of, like, who the new core of Yonkos is going to be. Like, you know, you got Luffy. You know, you got Kid Law. Katakuri is still kicking. The rest of the big mom the pirates... Story? Yeah, like, Katakuri is still around, and the rest of the big mom pirates didn't pull up here. So they're still around like you seen when whitebeard got the rest of the whitebeard pirates got thrashed by blackbeard it was just yeah. marco left like there was just nothing left they were done for just remnants at that yeah point. exactly i'm assuming that's what's probably going to happen to the beast pirates and i'm assuming end of story realistically that's probably what's going to happen to blackbeard's crew too see as far as the beast pirates go it's tough because kind of See Jack, and I only say it just because that nigga is very young. Like Jack, I don't even think he's in his thirties, and he's a third commander. Like it gets overlooked just because power scaling wise, we're in love with a new like shrimp tier. But even being a third commander at that age in One Piece is pretty like commendable. Yeah, for sure. Theoretically, like I could like see him in the future like taking over the Beast Pirates. Yeah, like rebuilding. Mm hmm. Like, I could see, especially just because, like, their flag and everything and the way how they're structured is obviously centered around Kaido, but I could see that running without Kaido. Unlike the White Beard Pirates, to where it was like they kind of bet it all on Old Man. Yeah, yeah. I don't it's know. Tough. They would have to gain that respect for Jack. Well, I'm sure he has it among his crew. At least the ones that matter. Like, it don't even gotta be Jack. They're still king and queen. I mean, that's still tough, but just in general, like, it is tough. Especially for when you want to talk endgame. I don't see Jack taking over the Beast Pirates and them becoming a Yonko crew from when you talked into the story, but I could see him taking over them like just for the sake of them being in the story. Tight shit, like, tight shit. Just on some fellow comp. Yeah, and I, I think the biggest question is like what happens to the rest of the members of the Beast Pirates after this fight? Like, what happens to them? Are they just knocked out and like they don't just stay in Wano? Yeah. So it's Shit. like, what happens to the rest of them? Yeah, like, and there's always that big thing, too, going back to Kaido, because it's like, nobody knows yet. So it's like, from what you just saw, would you say he's dead? And by default, same with Big Mom, because I would assume no, but... At the same time, 
if he's not dead, there's not much stopping him from spinning back in the future. Now, you know, he could get that ass smacked again, but it's like, and he probably is not going to have that kind of force with him, even if he's still him. But it's like, I'm still kind of just thinking about it. Like, that's kind of tough there. See, I don't know if he's dead necessarily. Big Mom fell into a fucking pit of lava, so it's like, she could have survived that, but it's definitely more unlikely than Kaido, because I don't know if he fell into that same pit of lava. But even if he did, the nigga just turned basically into lava. So it's like, yeah. if he did yeah. fall to the same place, there's a good chance he's still alive. Although yeah. he did get knocked the fuck out in a in a pit of lava. It's not like he's like up and kicking with energy and shit. Yeah, that could play a factor too, because. I can't imagine one surviving and the other not. Like, I feel like it's either they're both in or they're both out. I feel like there's a lot left to be had with Big Mom knowing the story. Like, the Beast Pirates, they just got their shit ran through and their territory took. Like, it's safe to assume a comeback is to be made for them, but it's a lot different than the Big Mom Pirates comeback-wise. Like you said, the Big Mom Pirates... They're still set up to where future-wise, even though we know for the most part what the new Yonko's looking like, we know future-wise the Big Mom Pirates are in a position to where they could easily be a Yonko caliber crew with or without Big Mom. The Beast Pirates, the state that they're in now, is like, they're just remnants. They're just a bunch of strong niggas grouped together. So it's like, it's kind of tough. It's like, I just don't necessarily... It's hard to imagine Kaido being dead, but I don't know. And it's like, if he's not dead, like, he could spin back, but again, like, as you said, he just get that ass whooped again. So it's like, if he's not dead, what's really left for him? Shit. Well, off rip, we also know, at least not for Kaido, but for the niggas in Wano, there ain't much left either. Big boy is out the picture, and even Cypher Pole Agent himself kicked rocks. I'm going to assume he left early to... That was their way of foreshadowing the end of that fight was coming. Yeah. Like Man. he knew what was going to happen. Yeah. i tell you what. We said it already, but what a masterful... What a masterpiece Wayno has been. And. Yes, sir. That fight easily is already one of my favorites, but I'm just thinking about everything that's happened in Wayno. I'm already feeling like this arc's already one of my favorites. It's oh, already sure. one for of sure. my favorites. For sure. I'm feeling like it's my favorite arc right now. Yeah, I have like, to really yeah. think about it. See, I'm rewatching One Piece, and I'm almost at that 200 episode stretch going into Marine Ford. I'm in Thriller Bark right now. So after Thriller Bark is Saba Odi. So, once I get there, I'm going to fly through that shit. So, once I rewatch Marine Ford, because we just watched the entirety of Wayno, basically. And I'm kind of in the same boat as you where I'm thinking, I'm feeling like it's my favorite. But I yeah. haven't sat down and watched Marine Ford in a long time. That's what I'm saying. And it's tough because, on one hand, Marine Ford had a lot of build up going into it too that carried like why it was so crazy. But on the other hand, if we're talking about build up, Wayno has been built up since the time skip. Yeah. Like it's really tough. Hey man. I feel like Verse is coming soon. Hey. Hey. Absolutely. And y'all niggas hit that sub button to be tapped in. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey man, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button as well. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't miss another One Piece post. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As you just watched, they straight bangers. You've hit. Make sure you guys click on our description. Two links we waiting for you. One will take you to all of our socials. Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. Make sure you guys join that. Come chop it up with us. Tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? Talk about anything you want. Anime, not anime. It don't matter. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, man. With that being said... SOTL.